This past week has been a very good week of practice for the coaches and the players. We've gone out, practice hard, and the kids are working hard and focusing. And, um, and like I said before, it's not about me, it's about the players. And that's my job to go out and coach. What your, uh, sorry, we are using the microphone. Sorry, <laughs> Uh, Coach spoke to Miki Andrews this week, and he said uh, you've been reaching out to him just for advice and kind of uh, some counsel. What are some things that maybe you're asking of him or, or some advice you're kind of getting from him to help lead the team? Well, you you know, being assistant coach and, and understanding from assistant coach to the interim head coach is different things that, that pop up and that that you want questions about, but – you don't have the questions because I've never been a head coach. And I would talk to him about certain things, just tell me to um, keep being myself, you know, and you're going to make the right decision, Dale, the way you live your life. He said, you, you're going to be okay because the player that you was at Florida State University, you did things the right way. Coach, you said it's been a really good week of practice. Um, the players have talked about kind of a different vibe in practice with the music and everything. Uh, what do you think of uh, how that how the vibe is in practice now? They've been practicing well, enjoying the music. They trying to get me to dance, and I can't dance. Believe me, I'm not gonna try to dance. And having fun with the coaches, but the, but the the key in practice, they they've been doing pretty good and going out and 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 practicing hard and focusing. That's the key. The music is good. But it's a business drill. They know what the task is to go out and, and, and play the best we can play against Southern Mississippi because Southern Mississippi is pretty good. They're a pretty good football team. Coach, you, you see it every year, teams who, who don't take their bowl game as serious enough. How happy are you with the way that the, this team has responded to a man? They've all said that this, this game is very important. They, they, you say they're practicing hard. Are you happy with the way that they've reacted to this? Well, we have a long bowl history at Florida State University, and the kids knew it about a month and a half ago. They wanted to keep the streak going, and we made it to a bowl. They played hard. They practiced hard. They're listening, and they expect to go out there and do what we do Florida State way and, and have fun. Odell, um the coach, coach Sanders getting the opportunity to be a head coach, uh, but he's staying on to help you guys. What, what has that been like, and, and, and how important is he going to be for your bowl preparation? You know, that, that's very important. That's a selfless move that Coach Sanders is making. And Coach Sanders is doing the job like, like he never took a job. He's going out, exerting himself doing a great job as a man, talking to the kid, coaching them hard, and pushing them. He, he's doing a hell of a job. All the coaches are doing a hell of a job. Everybody's taking the bull by the horn and coaching well and stepping up. Spurlock, David Spurlock, Jerry Johnson, guys like that are replacing coaches. They're, they're doing a great job. Odell, I was just wondering what the, the last few weeks have been like for you out recruiting. Uh, obviously a busy time. Uh, just your impressions of, of your experience with, with Coach Taggart and some of the guys that you were able to sign yesterday. Well, recruiting um, has been going well. Coach Taggart has been on the road so much. It's unreal. When I say recruiting, 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 I had that about five more times. And the kids really like him. The parents really like him because he's a genuine person man of character. The kids like it. It's, it's been great going on the road with Coach Taggart. Coach, just wanted to clarify, who are some of the, the, the assistants that are coaching the running backs and the tight ends um, outside of Coach Sanders on offense? Okay, coaching tight ends, David Spurlock. He's coaching the tight ends. He worked with um, the tight ends all year. He's doing a heck of a job. See, the thing about it, you know, David Spurlock has been around a long time, and he know the position. And Mike Warren is coaching the uh, running backs, and Mike Warren, and also he's coaching the special teams, and we're helping them out. Every coach is uh, pitching in, helping them out, 
and, and, and doing their part. And uh, Jerry Johnson is coaching the defensive tackles when I'm taking the head, you know, interim head coach role. And all the guys are doing a very good job and been walking around looking, and the kids are upbeat and they're practicing well. Odell, there was a depth chart released the other day. Um, there were a couple of names not on it. I was hoping to get clarification or see if you can. I think Matthew Thomas, Ermon Lane were two of the names. Are they still with the team and practicing? No, they're not practicing. Okay. No, they're, no, they're not practicing. Right, thank you. Coach, I'm sure this is just all about finishing the mission. You know, how do you do it without those guys missing, without Derwin, Josh Sweat? Um, also, I don't know if Tavares McFadden is practicing, but how do you, and with the coaches gone, with so much turnover happening on both sides with the coaches and players, how do you kind of keep things together and have, have the players kind of finish the mission here? Not how I keep things together, how we keep things together. The, the players and the coaches and the university supporting the football team. That's how things have been going well. We are a family at Florida State University. Florida State is a, is a big time program. We just got to move forward. Don't worry about the circumstances and stay a family, fight together and pray together. Coach, we, we talked to Jacquez Patrick the other day and he was uh, discussing that after the season, he's going to have to figure out what he's going to do. I'm sure a lot of the fourth and fifth year guys, a coaching change might be tougher on them than maybe younger guys. How have, um, have you counseled any of those guys? Have any of them come to talk to you about, you know, about their future yet? Or, or do you think those conversations will happen I, later? I tell you, guys, they'll come up and talk to you and about certain things. You, you got to talk to them and, and you, you got to sit down and counsel them and let them know about real life. You tell them about real life and what to expect and what to look for. And matter of fact, you know, some of them come talk to me, but a lot of them has talked to Coach Tagger. And so, you know, they, they'll make that decision once they get back about all that. Right now, we're focused on this football team and us going out to being the best Florida State team we can be 2017. <coughs>